Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and what we have here today is the Nike Dunk Low Casina. Um, I received these from KicksUp. Once again, that is KicksUp. We're going to go ahead and get into this review. So, I wanted to tell you guys, um, I am having trouble with my video editing software. It keeps crashing on me. So, the next couple videos, or maybe from now on until I can find a software that I can actually use the videos aren't gonna be as nice I guess as the ones I usually do no graphics or anything like that unfortunately so just wanted to tell you guys that if you were wondering but well, we'll take a look at the box here Nike regular Nike box we'll take a look at the tag here Nike Dunk Low Casina colorway a sale university gold these are size 12 they do fit true to size i haven't scanned the barcode i don't know if it scans the inside of the box you get this fancy paper with something on it i don't know what that is i can't really tell but it's fancy all right we'll take a look at the shoes right off the bat i was extremely impressed with these when i took them out of the box so your upper is comprised of this nice suede slash nubuck. As you can see, you got some awesome movement. I have not used this, the uh, suede brush on these yet. And then uh, this nice soft leather. Uh, this is definitely the best quality, material quality dunk that I have ever gotten. Uh, usually, since it's a pretty cheap shoe, for retail, they usually run around $100, maybe $120 at the most. Uh, the material qualities, even on the retail, is pretty crappy. But these, I cannot say that for these. These are really nice quality. As I said, you got this blue suede slash nubuck. And as you can see, it's got awesome movement on it. It's a nappy-haired. Then you have this nice gold swoosh here. The position and everything on it is correct. You have this nice soft tumbled leather behind the swoosh on this panel. You have the, I'm assuming that's the Casina logo on the back. Uh, full disclosure, I have no idea what Casina is. I have no idea what these are a collaboration with. I did not do any research on them. And you got this kind of cool medallion here back you got your nike air that looks great white stitching spacing looks good your medial side just the medial side swoosh and everything looks good it's nice there's no wrinkles or anything in the leather here let me take the paper out your toe box again really nice quality tumbled leather here nice and soft it's soft without feeling cheap. Um, I do have a pair of those Jordan 1 uh, Japan ones in the white and the, na the midnight navy ones. And I will be posting that review within a couple of days. And I will tell you what, guys. The leather on those things is insanely soft. But unfortunately, it's so soft it feels like it could be very cheap and not durable at all but the leather on this it feels actually thick but it's also soft um, on your tongue you have I have no idea <laughs> if you guys know what that says go ahead and comment down below because I have no idea what that says I don't know if that is uh, Japanese maybe I'm sounding racist right now uh, I have no idea what that says. Your tongue, you do have an exposed tongue, or an exposed foam tongue, and the foam is the correct color. On some of the other batches of this, the foam's actually white. It's supposed to be yellow, like this. The inside of the shoe, take a look at the insole. You have your casina in blue and yellow, and it's got a bus on it. I have, I, guys, I have no idea what's going on with this shoe. It's got a bus. It's got 97, 
It's got that text on it and that medallion. I probably should have done maybe five seconds of research on this shoe before doing the review. Uh, but the inside sock liner of the shoe, at least this up to about here, is actually nice soft leather. Again, I'm really impressed. And as again, as I said, this is definitely the highest quality dunk that I've done. Your outsole is black. Your midsole is white. We got some furries on it. Uh, the back of it, you do have that Casina medallion again. We'll take a look at the other shoe. Just give you a good look at that. Close up of the new buck slash suede. I really wish I could tell the apart, but I can't. If you guys did not know, the only difference between suede and new buck is what side the leather has been roughened up on. I believe if the inside layer of the leather has been roughened up like this, then it's new buck. If the outside layer has been roughened up, then it's suede. So, or it could be the other way around. But that's what it is. That's the difference. Uh, they do come with a set of gold laces, which I think would look really nice, although these white laces do look really good in here. And then they come with these, which I believe is a Japanese um, verification service. One of the sellers told me what it was a while back, but I totally forgot. So yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and I will bust out the black light. Alright, I got the black light out here. This is just going to be real quick. And as you can see, yeah, there is lines all over it for all the panels, but that's fine. So whoever, anybody who's concerned, the lines are there. All right, we'll go ahead after I drop my black light and uh, do the on foot. guys so after doing the on foot these do fit a little big um it could just be because i didn't tighten them up all the way but yeah just know that they may fit a little big when you get them um i definitely would not recommend going a size down or half size down or anything just go true to size um unless you wear them loose and don't actually tighten your shoes but I would recommend still going true to size. But yeah, that is it guys. Uh, once again, I received these from Kicks Up, and they did go ahead and they gave me a discount code. And that discount code is going to be non-legit, and that's gonna take $10 off your order. So go ahead and hit them up. So, yep, that's it. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscription button. And last but not least, please make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified of when my next video drops. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. With that, I'm out.